Hi guys, I'm Tripura Alapati and I'm a makeup artist and in today's video we are going to create this beautiful look. This is a very pinky look and I absolutely love how this turned out. And the thing about this video is every product I used in creating this video is under 500 rupees. So if you're someone who is going to college and looking for more affordable options or if you're someone who is just starting with your makeup journey, this is going to be a very useful video for you guys because all the products I mentioned are very good products and are the products that I genuinely use. Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel that will be so helpful for me and also please follow me on Instagram because I create so many fun reels and different looks there also. So let's get into the video. To start off with, I'm going to use a primer and for that I'm using the Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer. Actually, I'm using this primer more than I expected I would use. It's actually a very nice primer. At first, you can see a little white cast but it goes away. So, I'm using the primer on the areas where I know I'll get oily. Once I'm done applying my primer, I'm going to do my brows. First, I'm using a spoolie to brush my brows. If you guys can notice, I have these similar eyebrows like this one doesn't have an arch and has many sparse areas when compared to the other one. So I'll first fill this one and then match the other one with this. And for my brows today, I'm using the Miss Claire Eyebrow Pencil. You can see like how much I used it. And I must say one of my very first eyebrow pencils. The thing I love about this product is this is not drying. Okay, I have many other eyebrow pencils which are quite drying but this one it's not drying. So first I am going to create an arch and then I am going to slowly fill it in. If you can see I am going very light handed still the pigment is spot on. Starting part of my brow I like to keep it little natural so I will not fill it. And now I am matching this brow to the other one. I am trying to match okay. Now I am going to color correct and for that I am using a lipstick. I am taking a very little product on the brush and I am just dabbing it on the areas where I have pigmentation. You can absolutely go ahead and use a color corrector too. Remember with color correcting less is more so make sure you go with little product because if you go with a lot of product in the beginning it will be very difficult for you to blend it in. And now I am using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It is in the shade 310 and I am going to use a foundation brush to blend it in. This is from Cuffs and Lashes and this is the first time I am using this. I'm so excited to try this one out. I mean, it has quite mixed reviews as of my knowledge. Some people absolutely love it. Some people are saying like the presents are coming out. So I bought it so that I could give it a try and give my thoughts about this one. I'm just packing the product in. This is one of the very good foundations that is available under 500. You can absolutely go ahead and try it. But if you are willing to splurge a little, I would definitely say go for the Superstay Maybelline Superstay. It gives better coverage and if you have oily skin, it stays on your skin very well. It's been a long time since I used this foundation. Even I don't know why I'm not using this. But yeah, it's a very good foundation. And the brush, so far, I'm loving it. I'm done blending the foundation and now I'm going to use a concealer. I'm using the pack take the cover concealer. I'm going to let it sit there for a few seconds. In the meantime, I'm using this contour from Inside Cosmetics. Oh my god, this one blends like a dream. It just blends into your skin. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm using the same brush and I'm simply pressing the product into my skin using upward motions. This contour stick is one of my favorite ones. I mean, I absolutely love it. The way it looks and the way it blends into my skin. Make sure you're blending the contour into your hairline. I'm now going to go ahead and blend the concealer too. This is the concealer brush from Cuffs and Lashes. If you can see this is a very beautiful concealer it gives medium to buildable coverage so the product that is remaining on the brush i am using it on my eyelid so that it will be a base to our eyeshadow i actually like these brushes i mean for the first impression i actually like these ones they are very soft and working well
always make sure you are using less concealer because the lesser product you use the less it will crease so make sure you are going in layers and using less product to set everything in place i'm going to use the maybelline fit me compact this is actually in the shade sun beige but i don't know it looks darker than i expected so i'm just going to only use this on the areas where i actually need it if you can see i'm just pressing the product in it's been a long time since i sat down to shoot a youtube video some days i'm busy these days and the other days i'm not in a mood to shoot but today i put myself together and i thought i will shoot a video and i'm doing it i'm glad i'm doing it i am being very precise with my powder application because i don't want to use it all over my face for the obvious reasons it's darker than i expected now i'm going to use a bronzer and this bronzer is from sugar cosmetics in the shade woody wonder i'm using this brush from buji beauty this is a contour brush i mean if you can see it is tapered it gives very precise application of contour if you are a beginner and wanting to invest in a good contour brush i would recommend you invest in this shape of brushes because they will make your application very easy and this bronzer it is actually a nice bronzer i bought it in the beginning of my makeup days when i didn't wanted to invest so much on makeup and for my blush i am using the sugar cosmetics blush i absolutely love sugar cosmetic blushes i mean if you see my videos i use these blushes in every other video so that's how much i love these blushes and the brush i'm using is the blush brush from rufa beauty i'm applying the blush on the high points of my cheekbones if you want you can start from here apples of your cheeks but that will give your face a more rounded effect and i'm not looking for that today so i'm just applying it on the high points so that it will give my face a lifted effect i like to take my blush like this i don't know why for some weird reasons i think that works well for me now let's move on to the eyes and for that i am using nika k sugar plum eyeshadow palette i hope i'm pronouncing it right please don't come at me if i'm pronouncing it wrong please ignore how this looks because i got a broken palette you guys so i'm going to take the shade from the palette just to the excess and i'm just applying it on my lid no i'm mostly concentrating the product on my crease uh, this is like the transition shade if you can see i'm using very little pressure and that's the thing you should learn if you are doing an eyeshadow if you are holding it like this and doing like this it's not going to work it's going to look patchy always hold it towards the end and put very little pressure that is what going to give you a seamless blend if you can see i'm blending it using back and forth motions and towards the end i'm just winging it out now i'm going to take this shade from the palette i'm using my fingers to take the color and i'm just packing it over my lid so if you can see i applied the shimmer on both my eyelids and what i'm going to do now is i'm taking a flat shadow brush and then taking this color this is silver sort of a color and i'm taking this color on the brush and i'm packing it in the middle of my eyelid what is this going to do is when you turn around it is going to give that reflection i hope you got i hope my camera is able to pick it up but there is a difference so i'm going to do the same thing on my other eyelid too and now i'm taking a an angled brush and i'm taking the deepest color in the palette and i'm just using this to wing it up if you want you can absolutely skip this step or you can use a traditional eyeliner So I have popped on lashes and the lashes I used are from Swiss Beauty. Not the absolute best lashes, but okay, you can work with them. Now I'm going to finish the eye look by defining my lower lash line. I'm taking the same color that we took the first time and I'm using a shader brush to smudge it on my lower lash line. This step will actually define your eyes, so please don't skip this one. 
Now I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics highlighter to highlight my inner corners. If you want, you can go ahead and absolutely apply the highlighter on your cheekbones and under your brow bound. But I'm going to skip that step and I'm going to move on to the lipstick. On my lips today, I'm going to use this Lacme 9 to 5 lipstick in the shade Maroon Mix. So I added a bindi to finish this look and this is the final output. I absolutely love how this turned out. I wasn't definitely expecting this but this is so beautiful guys. If you want you can absolutely switch the bold lip with a nude lip and trust me it will look like a brand new look. So feel free to experiment. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. See you all in another video.